a semi-final number two, Tatiana Weston versus Sally Fitzgibbons. And while we were away, we had some action happen in the semi-final number two. This was while we were away, Potts. Yeah, well, I tell you what, a very slow semi-final number one, but semi-final number two off to a flying start and Sally Fitzgibbons Tagging that one all the way through the inside and a massive score drop for her right behind her. Tatiana Weston Webb wasting no time to keep in touch with Sally, a two times champ out here. Tatiana Weston Webb starting to find her feet. A little bit of a nervous start so far this year. But this is an event that can kickstart her year. A great finish on that wave there, number one for her. So good, two good solid scores from both surfers to kick things off. And then Sally straight back out in the lineup and backing up that first score. She already has a two-wave total with 30 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. A little bit of a different start to this one, Kaipo. No restart needed in semi-final number two. There's the math up in the graphic. A very, very slow semi-final number one. Tatiana Western Webb having a look at this. Sally Fitzgibbons with priority. Here she goes. Uses the priority. Snaps off the top. Whitewater climb. Comes around that section. A second snap throwing a ton of water there. Carving around Fitzgibbons looking in excellent form on this little left here at Cloud Break, doing everything right. And she's going to chuck that 3 6 7 that she has as a backup score right out the window and make things a little bit harder for Tatiana Weston Webb. May, may call it a little bit of luck, but it's all timing, it's all really positioning. And Sally using that priority, a smaller wave, but uh, just trying to better a 3.67. Beautiful foam climb. Look at the rhythm she's got on this wave. Just rattling off maneuver after maneuver. And it's not going to be a huge score, but he's going to improve her situation. He's going to apply the pressure a little bit more squarely on the shoulders of Tatiana Western Webb. So Sally kicks out of wave number three already. And has made it quite clear she's going to stay busy. She's going to keep riding waves. And here she goes again. Staying busy is... Sally Fitzgibbons, speed line arc there, comes around the section oh. and goes vert, but down. So it was like, you're rolling the dice a little bit, but, you know, in order to get through, you kind of have to sometimes, especially in these conditions. And, um, yeah, really happy just to be in the final. Wow. I, I, <laughs> sick. Well, we'll let not you get over. ready. We're going to let you get ready for the it's final because it's not over till it's, it's not over, over. <laughs> and we can't wait to see the rest of the event back to that little grovel session and you know what maybe there'll be a couple more sets in the next heat gosh she looked on point let's take a look at the replay pots yeah she is definitely on point i mean just the maneuver choice the flow that she's got going a beautiful board under her feet and uh just standing on the tail of that board just rapid fire from sally fitzgibbons she's making the right decision and i think that builds confidence in itself more waves coming through right now tatiana western webb with priority but is she out of position for this one. Sally going again. Sally, wave magnet, but that one just doesn't formulate for her. Tatiana Weston Webb higher up on the reef looking at this one. Here we go. Tati building up some speed down the line. Floats it. Sticks it. One maneuver, but high risk over some very shallow reef there. And then we're, then we're starting to talk about a serious score. Here it is. Let's have a look. She races down the line, up onto the roof of the wave, and then jumps down. So definitely a critical wave. 3.67 3, 3 for uh, Tatiana. Not enough to get her in the lead. And this was the 5.73 from Sally. You can just see rapid fire, smooth, clean surfing, commitment, and, uh, well, just nice mistake-free. I love this, the flow that she had, the transition between turns. Very hard to do in small ways like that. Zero mistakes. Well, we know that Sally Fitzgibbons is confident out here. She showed us that in 2015. We'll get back to that conversation as Tatiana Weston Webb starts snapping uh, for the first time. Comes around the section and draws a big arc all the way back. Snaps again through this inside. Looks for more. Gets another arcing rail turn. So kicks out. Wow. wow. <laughs> So there's a battle right now. This is the 7.67. You can see a bigger set wave, bigger turns, bigger arcs. A little bit of a stumble right there, but then fixed it and finished nice and strong. So Tatiana surfed her wave absolutely amazingly. 
a smaller wave. So tighter arcs. Nice quick snap there. She jams around the section. This is the money shot. Bang! Just beautiful slashing turn. Throws the fins out through the lip again. So back to back solid maneuvers. She's looking good on her feet, let me tell you. And a, another wave like that could find herself in the lead. Courtney looking extra tough. Here's a wave coming through here. Tatiana goes. Snaps off the top. Comes around this section again. Snaps it one more time. More room. Third snap goes complete. Number needing 6.64. Pretty good performance there. It was, however, a small wave. We'll see where the judges go with that, Potts. Replay that ride a couple times, and we're going to replay it for you. Yeah, watch this first turn. Beautiful maneuver. Beautiful snap in the pocket. Shines some pizzazz through the lip again, and then finishes strong with a, a nice snap into the lip. So back-to-back -back maneuvers with that, that nice flow. We're down to just 15 seconds. Last chance for Fitzgibbons. View from above. Sally scratches into this little left-hand peeler, banks it off the top. Two-turn combo, requirement 5.87. Oh, wow. 5.87, I don't think it's enough. And I think Sally knows it. Wow, incredible stuff and uh, just a testament to the fight in this young lady. Even underneath the priority, she knew, she knew what she had to do. She trusted her surfing, she believed in her ability. She's been, she said she's found this newfound confidence that she never had at the beginning of the year and that has taken her all the way through to the final. So Tatiana Weston-Webb will come up against Courtney Conlog, that backside frontside battle.